DMS 51412. Hi, I'm Paul. We're going to be restoring the back to our former glory. And I'm Johnny, and welcome to Destination DMU. So, welcome to episode 9. Uh, this is going to be an episode where these two do a lot of work on camera and me and Scott do more in the background. Um, so, yeah, what are you doing? Well, today I'm, as the drifters would say, up on the roof. I'm um, going to be, well, I have been um, sanding uh, the roof down. Um, I'm going to be then degreasing uh, the roof after that and then putting on the etch primer. So, a big day on the roof for me today. And I'm continuing on from inside, painting uh, each panel um, and going from there. And I'm doing filling, prepping and sanding again and just getting to make sure the, uh, the cab and the body side are ever nearer and then almost ready for painting. And then yeah, we've got three undercoats. Three undercoats. One gloss, which you'll find out the colour, you've probably seen with a thumbnail. Uh, we're going to be doing the front and the roof first because why would you fight gravity? and then we'll do the side. So uh, it's going to be filmed over quite a lot of days. We're probably going to have a few outfit changes, but I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, we'll see you when we see you. Right folks, it's time to put the tea wash degreaser on, which removes all the dirt and grime from the top. So cue fast moving me. It's now time to do the um, etch priming on the roof. We're going to give it two coats, hopefully. And again, cue fast moving me and Johnny this time. because we've run out of paint. So you're next gonna see that when there's gray on it and when we're painting it black. So what can you do really? Run out of daylight and run out of paint. So a bit snooker. So you will see now, as I said, that we would paint the little bit that we didn't quite get up to because we ran out of paint and uh, daylight. You will see that's black. That's actually a uh, black etch primer. It's literally the same stuff as the grey but in black. The reason we've used that is because that was the stuff that we had in storage. Um, so minimal time, um, you know, getting that, getting it here. So it looks a bit odd, but it's all going to be covered over black, so it doesn't matter. But you know, we haven't started painting with a bead at palm paint. That is actually black etch primer. So what you're going to see next is you're going to see Paul work his way down the emu doing the first coat of bead uh, beadette balm paint out of three. Um, so we'll just show you the first coat. I mean, the other two are not really, not much going to change after that. So we'll just show you the first one. So I hope you're enjoying the episode so far and um, enjoy. <laughs> finish has been taught by um, a professional painter as I've been told it by many people as well um, just basically how to get a nice finish so as I'm applying here is the cream high build primer undercoat a bit of a, an orangey tang to it but, and then after that that will form a nice base for the yellow to go on top
Okay, now you've seen the front be done, now we are going to put back the coat on this, so we're going to show you that. Uh, all we've got to do, as you can see, there's still a little bit of residue, that will get, that'll be, that'll get um, taken off with a panel white, uh, and then we're going to go on to van the coat, and then we're going to go straight into the gloss blue, and after we've done the gloss blue, and when we're doing the outfit, we do, we'll tell you why actually we've done this, and uh, what's next. to the end of the painting stage for now um, we've done pretty much the whole side of this unit bar the very end of it which still requires um, metal work as you can see um, she is in the first holding coat of nice shiny BR blue um, which looks absolutely immaculate considering the state we bought her in we've come a long way with it and this is just a taster of what's to come with the three car unit as a whole in the future um, it's, we put a lot of hours in to get to this point as you will have seen partially on the YouTube and also on the Facebook we'll sit right from the start but yeah it's, it took the best part of a day to paint this in this blue and also the two coats of undercoat um, so it's not a five second process but it definitely shows after uh, what, what's been done on it so I'll hand you over to Johnny now and he can explain his part of it well yeah as, uh, as my said it you know it's, it's not perfect but it's a lot better than what it was. Um, so if you see the kind of little imperfections that you can see in the light, we see them as well. We know they're there. This is not a final job um, done on this. So, but after we've done the other side, we'll come back and we will do the whole thing immaculately. So we've just done the, you know, the bulk of the filling. As far as where we are, about 75% of the um, Demi's body side is now in the first coat of blue. All the backs of the panels that are blue are also all black, they're all done, no more work needs to be done on that. All the window frames are white as you've seen, 50% uh, of the total roof surface area has been done um, and uh, I'd just like to say and add as well that you know this has taken a long time, we've filmed this over about four weeks so that's why we haven't seen a, an upload in a while and um, we are now going back, you know, we never quite did once a month videos but from now on it's going to be once every three or four weeks that we will upload and um, so we, we've gotten used uh, to us putting out a video almost every week sometimes um, but now it's going back to what we were originally going to start at but we had a real big push as we knew we wanted to get this done because we didn't want our work to uh, to rot away i will insert a picture now of um, what happens when you just leave the peak green for about 18 months in this environment and we didn't want to have to come back to that after we'd done it especially on the front because that would have been about 18 months we would have left that by the time you know we come to paint the whole unit so what's next well what's next is you're going to see this next episode we're going to cut out the uh cut out the bottom half of the panel that needs to be done cut out more roof sections get gutters off and um yeah we are so close so hopefully we will be done by christmas and what christmas present that will be to have half of the dme done so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.